In this video, I'm going to take you through some of the new WordPress Gutenberg blocks that we've added to the VS Netflix theme. Um, before I do that, I just want to mention this is not a tutorial for creating genre and category pages. Those pages automatically get generated once you start creating the categories you want and adding videos to them. For example, um, this ad action adventure category I've already created, I've already added videos to it, and you end up with a page like this. So it automatically lists your videos, your thumbnails. Again, you don't need to actually create new pages for these. These are automatically generated once you start adding your content. For today's video, I'm going to take you through making custom pages with the Gutenberg editor. So to get started, I'm going to go to a brand new page. Now, one of the first blocks that we've added to the VS Netflix theme is called the, the, <laughs> the WPVS theme full section. If you don't see it in your list, you can just search for it here. Just search WPVS and you'll see it here. Now, what this does is give you a block that basically spans the full width of the page. And then you can add whichever elements and other blocks you want inside of it. So this is a great way to add, um, you know, a, a background section with three columns inside, which I'll, I'll give you an example of. So now that I've added this full section, I'm going to add three columns. I'm just going to grab some content here. And I'll duplicate these. I'll just show you what we end up with here. So you see you get three blocks which are contained to a certain width. Now if you want content to go to the full width of the page, all you need to do is click on the uh, full section and remove the container. So you can disable the container, press update. Now go back to your page and you'll see that these span the full width. You'll notice there is padding so it doesn't, uh, you know, you get that space on either side. You can also remove that if you need to. I'm going to add both of those back just for this demo. You can optionally add your own padding to the top, bottom, right, and left as you need. You can also set a background color. I'm going to leave one off for now. Now, these sections are a great way to break up your content. So one of the other blocks that we've added is the WPVS video thumbnail slider. Now this is going to be very useful for adding those Netflix style sliders you get on the category pages to other pages that you want to customize. So I'm going to add one of these below here and it says select a video category from the right side menu. So over here you're going to select one of your categories that you've created. I'll choose action adventure and this will automatically populate your sliders. Now, in this version, these are going to look a little bit different than they do on the front side of the website. Um, I'm going to work on getting it so that they actually look almost identical. You won't get the drop down sections in the editor just because um, you know it, it takes up a lot of extra space, a lot of extra loading, and it, it's not necessary. Once you update, you can go view this page, reload and you will get your video slider directly on this page. And you'll see that on the front end you still get those drop down areas. Now what's nice about this, these two new blocks is again is you can break things up as you need. So if you want another category down here, just add another one of these. Choose which category you want to show. I'll do TV food. Update. 
Now you see on this page, you have both your categories. So again, this is a great way to create pages that maybe you want to mix and match categories. Um, I'll, I'll show you some more examples here. Maybe you want a header image at the top. So what we can do is I'll add another full theme section. And in this block, we'll add a cover image just for fun. Let's grab any image here. And let's just type this in. Can't type right now. Update. And I'm going to move this to the top. Now what you'll notice is this heading is contained in that container. So if I want to remove that, again, I go to this full section, I remove the container, I remove the content padding because I want this image to be the full width of the screen and update. And now you have a full header, header image that goes all the way across the screen. Now you notice there is some black space up here. Um, there's two things to get rid of that. First, there's this padding top. We don't want that. And there's also three new page settings. So at the, you have to get out of the block editing area and go to document, scroll all the way down and go to page options. There is an option now that is called remove top header spacing. And this removes the default spacing. That's the top of the pages. That's just to allow us for space for the menu. But if I refresh this now, you'll see that this image goes all the way to the top. And keep in mind that this isn't the only way to add images to the top of your page. For example, if I remove this block, I can actually set one of the featured area sliders that I've created at the top of this page. So again, above the page options, go to featured area, change none to slider, choose your slider and press update. Now if I refresh this page, you'll see the top of this page it gets a full width slider. You have the description, you have the link. I will show you a couple other quick things. Um, say you don't want these sliders to go the full width of the page. Um, you can actually move these inside one of the full section blocks to contain the width. So what I'll do is I'll remove these columns. And by the way, if you're ever having troubles clicking on things in the Gutenberg editor, this tool up here is great. It allows you to see exactly the different layers. Select what you want and just say remove block. So I still have a full section here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag it into the full section and it will move in there and I'll say update and I'll refresh this page. I'm actually going to, well, I'll leave that there for now. And you'll see that this slider is now contained inside of that container width of the full section. Now you see that these images are overlaying the, uh, this, the arrows on the right and the left there. All you do to fix that is select the slider, choose the clean slider style, press update. After you refresh that page, you'll see these arrows actually go right to the end and there's no over, overlay. And just to finish this off, um, because this isn't a full Gutenberg tutorial, there's lots of videos on YouTube that you can find that will show you how to use the Gutenberg editor. But just remember that once you have this, these full sections and you can add as many as you need, you can add whatever other blocks you want inside of them, right? So custom HTML, um, there's videos, there's images. So just back to the original example, let's, uh, let's add these three columns back. No, that's a lot. Now we can also add buttons here. So there's actually a button block. You can add a 
link. Well, I wanted this uh, in here. So. And let's make the background of this. I don't know. Something fun, something different. Say update. Hmm. Right, so see, this is where uh, you notice that text color isn't the same as back here. This is some things that I want to uh, work on to change the color of these blocks so that it is exactly the same in the editor as it is on the front. Let's make it black. Let's make all these black. There we go. Anyways, I hope this helps you uh, get the idea that you can create pretty much any custom page you need now. Um, if there's any issues, any questions, feel free to submit a ticket and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks.